Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Brendan and welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, it is great to have you. And Bitcoin is officially past $14,000. Now, this is actually the highest point that we've seen Bitcoin at since way back in early January of 2018, which means that this is really one of the final resistance points that Bitcoin has before it can go on an absolute tear. I'm talking like $17,000, possibly even all time highs. So I really want to break this down and talk about why this is such a key and crucial form of resistance and how Bitcoin is already starting to break past this to the next stage of its lifetime. So if that sounds exciting at all, make sure you guys stick around for the entire length of the video as there will be important information discussed the entire way through. But with that being said, let's go ahead and dive on into this one. So the first thing I want to do here is actually take a look at 2019's yearly high because what we can actually do and see is that I've drawn a line from where we capped out in 2019 all the way to where we are at today. And if we zoom in over here, we can actually see that we broke out past this high from 2019 to a new high of $14,200. Now, that high from 2019 was about $13,900, so this is about $300 higher. But as soon as we got to this area, Bitcoin started seeing some sell-off, and it started coming right back down towards this 2019 high. Now, this can really mean two of, uh, or excuse me, one of two things. The first is that Bitcoin really wasn't able to conquer this area, and that is already seeing selling pressure. This could be the argument that we have not broken one of Bitcoin's last and final um, forms of macro resistance, and that we are probably going to see a pullback uh, here pretty soon. Now, if that's the case, then what we would most likely see again is a pullback in Bitcoin, come back to, to one of its previous consolidation ranges, maybe come back to one of the previous macro swing highs that it's already conquered, and then go ahead and probably go back up to the upside. Um, if you're arguing this, then you really are looking kind of at this open box that Bitcoin has, because everywhere between where we're at right now and this, um, la or, excuse me, this next macro swing high from Bitcoin all the way up at 2017, there really is not a lot of resistance in here. I mean, we haven't touched this area in like almost three or four years now. So with Bitcoin coming back to this area, trying to retest it for the first time since very, very early 2018, very end of 2017, um, there just is not a lot up here with the exception of some psychological resistance until you get to 17 or even $20,000. Now, the closer we do get to these previous, or excuse me, the closer we do get to this um, all-time high on Bitcoin, you are going to see more and more psychological resistance the higher we get up there, along with some technical and fundamentals as well. Um, but I want to talk about the second argument for Bitcoin here, and that's actually that we have broken above this $14,000 and we are now hooking on it like a break hook and go formation. So what that would mean and what that would look like is that now that we have broken above this, we are retesting this previous high as former resistance turns support and Bitcoin should pretty soon here start going back up and breaking out to yet another yearly high in the $14,000 area. So a lot of people like that argument, especially if you're a bull. Um, if you guys are a part of the channel, you guys know that I like to talk about break hook and go formations uh, quite a bit. I think that they're very reliable and consistent in cryptocurrency. But this is one of those ones where I'm not sure if we can call it a break hook and go just quite yet. Um, in fact, it does look a little bit more like a piercing candle, um, but it is very convenient to make an argument for a break hook and go here. Um, if we wanna zoom this in just a little bit more on a four hour time scale so we can kind of get a better idea of this guy. Um, as to you know whether or not it truly is a break hook and go, we can see that with this previous high being right in here, I kind of just want to highlight this, um, and Bitcoin breaking up above this area and then now testing it as support, it's kind of a gray area. And I don't think that we've had quite enough time yet to confirm that this is a break hook and go or to confirm that Bitcoin is just ready to rally again. But again, uh, my argument here is that the trend is your friend, and I say that a lot. It's a very simple concept that has gone a long ways this year through a lot of fuzzy or really different fuzzy and gray areas for people because people kind of tend to overcomplicate this or um, you know come up with these crazy theories um, at the end of the day the trend is your friend and if there is evidence to support that I think that that is the most favorable evidence to look at um, so zooming out just a little bit on Bitcoin I want to talk again a little bit more about the potential and the consistency that it has had over the course of this year and how this can actually strengthen the argument for the bulls so um, I think I talked about this in one of my previous videos, but this giant parallel channel that Bitcoin is in, um, it's been really, really nice, especially the bottom half of this, because that is the most recent information that we have looked at over here. So what I want to do is um, just zoom out just a little bit more and talk about how we bounce off of the support area, um, not once, but actually twice, 
broke up down above this, retested this area, used it as resistance, and then used it as resistance again. And then now that we have broken back above this area, um, we are now using it as support. So if you guys don't understand what I said, uh, or what I just said, let me go ahead and uh, simplify that a little bit. So this bottom area is a trend line. Um, this is going to be used as either support or resistance, depending on whether Bitcoin is below it or above it. So since Bitcoin was above it over here, Bitcoin was using it as support. It used it as support again, and it would routinely bounce off of this area. So now that this broke below it, we saw the immediate retest over here where Bitcoin broke from above it to below it, retested it, former support, now turn resistance, which means that it was going to reject this. And in fact, we creeped up here a couple more times, rejected it again, came back up to this relative area, rejected it again. But now that we are above this trend line once again, as we have seen in the past, it was used as support here and here. We are now starting to see this area used as support once again, right over in here. So this could be a sign that Bitcoin is ready to run to the heartline of this channel. And the heartline of this channel is, you guessed it, right up and below $17,000. So again, I have my sights set on $17,000. I've been saying this for <laughs> quite some time now, but I think that it makes sense. I think that it's very possible. I think that Bitcoin just has to break this last crucial level of resistance over here on this chart if it can break and hold above fourteen thousand dollars and start seeing some nice break hook and go action like we have in the past uh, i think bitcoin is on a very very solid um you know path to victory here so you know whether that's hitting seventeen thousand dollars by the end of the year whether that's hitting new yearly highs maybe that's hitting thirty thousand forty thousand um at the end of the day we don't know for now but you know obviously i do think that the chart for Bitcoin is looking really good and that the future of 2020 and moving into 2021 uh, certainly does look pretty nice. Again, with all the fundamentals that are happening over here with Bitcoin, um, outside of just what I'm talking about on the technicals of this chart, there's a lot going for Bitcoin. You're starting to see people who would have never invested in the cryptocurrency start investing in the cryptocurrency. One, because of just everything that's happening in the world right now. But two, it's becoming very, very easy and accessible. Um, and I think names like PayPal and Square making that uh, happen are a great instance of that. And then you also start having banks like I've talked about a couple of videos ago, mainstream banks that were very against cryptocurrency now coming on and actually saying that cryptocurrency is very bullish and it can rival gold and, and sayings like that. So I don't want to get too deep into another subject. I want to keep it to um, what we're at for this video, but hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys did enjoy it, let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. Um, I'm very interested to kind of get everyone's opinion on this. Obviously, there's a lot of mixed reviews right now. People are getting PTSD from the previous bull run from way back in 2017, you know, not knowing, you know, do they take profit here? Do they just let it run? Do they add more? Do they buy the dips? There's a lot of options. So let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Again, nothing I said here is legal, financial, or tax advice in any way. Um, just surely kind of pouring my mind or my mind and my thoughts out into a video. So hopefully you guys did enjoy and I will see you guys next time.